birthday, Tim. Happy birthday, Tim. Happy birthday, Tim. Where's Tim? Happy birthday, Timmy D. I'm on the camera. <laughs> You see me? I see you. Good, what's going on? How are you? Good, real good. How you doing? Thanks so much for taking the time to uh, meet with me. You're very welcome. What does the next three years look like for you? Next three years is this. I am no longer, um, you know, it's, it's so funny. Every time I try to leave my practice, life makes it seem that it's trying to pull me back. That's still a part of my life. I'll still run it and it's awesome. But now, you know, I met with Peter Vargas, right? So I, you know, with Pete. I signed up for his full, full coaching thing because this weekend, you know, I spoke at different places with the keynote, with the hero keynote, but this last weekend gave me the validation from you guys or the market. See, cause my mom or my chiropractic friends, of course they're gonna love what I say cause they know me in that profession, but to really get a test group of someone like yourself who's seen speakers, who knows what audience wants. So that gave me a little bit of validation to say, okay, this is the message and now I'm gonna go full in. So for the next three years, it's speaking and just contributing, helping people like yourself reach your vision and mission. For the next three years, that, that, is, that is definitely the, uh, the message to get in front of as many people as possible. And then to help someone like yourself who's already doing something big to help get your message out even further. Thanks to you. Good okay, boss. Dude, that's cool. I mean, so the hero thing, it's like the, uh, everybody goes through that, you know? So the end goal is to be on the stages, right? And have the crowd of people. And you know, it's that vision of it, but it starts with a, a couple free stages or it's talking to five people. And then you build up to that. And so we, we tend, we get enticed or we get impatient. And then when we meet someone like that, who's built a huge thing, you want to go to the top as quick as possible. You know, you want to go, you want to go from zero to A to Z like that. You know, I'm secure in the fact that if it's going to happen, it'll happen. And the best way to do it is just to be, is to give like we're doing, like, what can I do for you? And not, and not ask, like earn, earn, like I, I'd rather earn it. You know, there was a, there was this one uh, dude this weekend, like his, the end of his talk was everybody stand up and shake your hand or, you know, something like that. And it automatically created the, because of the last line, it already created a standing ovation. The people were already standing. Because they're already standing. I'm like, man, I want to earn my standing ovation. Stand up, please. No, like, well, they don't know, stand and let's shake your, oh, and he's done, everybody's standing. You know, like, I mean, but I want to earn it. So I think Gary had a great line. He's like, when you're good enough, you'll get yours. Because it, it, it put the patience in perspective. Hey, listen, when you're good, if you're good enough, you know, you'll get yours. And it's like, okay, it might not be tomorrow, but you'll get it. And it just, it was just for me a phrase that meant the long game, the patience, but you, it's, your vision, not that you win at the end necessarily in this term of winning or losing, but you know, that vision is gonna get there. And chances are, if you work, the harder you work, the more you give, it'll get there quicker than you thought. Hello everybody, welcome one more time to another blessing day. And today I have the privilege to be with a person that I met about 10, seven, yeah, six man. years ago at the gym, you know. And um, I think we have so many things in common, uh, especially me being an immigrant, being from Colombia, and you have this story. So Chris, um, good morning, first of good all. Good morning, absolutely, thank you thank guys you so much for, for having me. for being over here. I'm already your fan. Right. We got a lot of young people coming to uh, with their startups and their nonprofits. What kind of advice do you have for that, you know, 18, 22, 25 year old person, girl, guy that is thinking to start their own business, but that have no clue where to, you know, to begin with? 
Um, you, you apprentice, you find someone who's doing something, you give them time, you, you, you work for free. For right now, let's say I'm 40, and if I wanted to start anything to do with real estate, so I don't know much about it, I would go to you and I said, listen, what value can I give you? I'll work for free. And I would work for free, whatever it means to it's do. It's funny because I will do the to same learn. thing. <laughs> to learn because apprenticing is the best form of education, period, because it's real life experience. Now thinking, well, I want to learn this and go to school and I'm, you, college is not going to teach you anything about that, period. But in two months, what I could learn from you and working for free, and if you want to throw me a little cash because I did a good job, It'll, and I might have to get a certification, my real estate license, I get it, but I'm gonna learn so much from you and your, in your how long you been doing this now? Uh, full time, since yeah. 2000, in, uh, full time, full time, 2009, 2010. So yeah, but so eight, eight, eight years of experience, I get to learn eight years of experience in one to two months. You see like time is your greatest commodity because you make make more time. So if I could shorten the time to get from A to Z quicker. Actually, that's what I did. That, yeah. That's why I haven't been to cook the last two years. Yeah. I, I know I'm giving up. I'm giving up some of my priorities. Well, what you did is like we said, like cooking, the time it takes me to cook, I could just hire someone to do that or or find a, a more efficient yeah, way. I'll pay my meals. Yeah, I'll pay done, my, you know, my, right? or my organic yeah. clean meals. Yeah. Uh, so you guys, please, please, please connect to this amazing guy right here. If you wanna learn a thing or two, you probably wanna watch his YouTube, his Facebook, Instagram. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. you. That was great. Awesome. Titus. Titus. I thought that was Superman for a minute. I know. All right, Optimus, we need to do some work, right? What do you need? You've probably seen so many guys go through this, and that's what I love about you because you figured it out. Society says, once you check off these boxes, you did it. And so they don't plan on people doing it. Society's not built for that, it's mediocrity. So, and this weekend, you know, when I did my keynote, there was a guy who had a $100 million company a year, and he, he left it because he felt this, it's, it's, for the, it's for the entrepreneur who is doing good. They, they got money, they got the stuff, but they wonder why they're so unfulfilled. They grieve their potential, they're unfulfilled, they try to buy pleasure, cheat on their wife, get tattoos, and do crazy shit because they're, they're unfulfilled and they didn't really recognize that they're just grieving their potential. They're living, else, they're living out somebody else's values for their life, right? I absolutely fucking love it. Yeah. So let me ask you this, let's just go right into action here. Can you speak on our stage on Saturday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. Let me get my calendar right now. You're in, dude. Awesome. Uh, we'll figure out, you know, how it all fits together, but it'll be one hour on the stage, and if you want to break it up into Q&A that fits into the close, uh, we'll, we'll work it all together. Well, it's going to be your close, you know, like, so after I'm done, because I, I mean, only what I'll do is, the only thing I need from you, Rick, is this, because let me tell you what I do, and I think it's different than most speakers do. When I talk to the meeting planners, they say, you know what? I go, what is the biggest pet peeves that you hate about speakers? They're like, when we have a speaker and they offer some free product to gain someone's email, but the, the, the thing has not, some ebook has nothing to do with what my audience wanted. You know, like here, I'm gonna give you the 10 steps to this. And they're like, we don't give a shit about that. So you gotta tell me what you feel is the top two or three things that that audience is dealing with. And what I'm gonna personally do for you is, I'm gonna film, film 20 videos, five minute videos, transcribe them, make one page exercise sheets, make a program like one month to win, and it'll be a one month video course program for free for them, that when I give it to them, they're like, oh my God, that's exactly for me because I'm gonna customize it for you. Because if I had like 30, 20 different programs, when I speak on a stage, it's like, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, a mom, a mom with two kids. So I'll have Whitney do a program. So my email is not a uh, opt-in, is not a uh, ebook, which is crap. It's wow, I got a one-month course, a video course with things to do just from my email. That's I'm, I'm taking it two levels higher than most speakers would ever do, just to provide that that value and that experience. So all right, cool. Thanks, Rick. Awesome, brother. God bless you. Bye, bye. You too. How'd you learn? Um, where'd you get to know Rick from? Um, Garrett Gunnarsson and Rick and uh, Patrick Contempo. How yeah, cool is that? Club. Say like it, all this stuff stems with, from Garrett. Why like Garrett was the, that big first uncomfortable purchase 
be like, what? You know, what are we going to learn? But we didn't realize, we didn't understand relationship capital. All these people in your life that, you know, you're introduced to and working with Roberto and nailing that talk and Patrick helping me develop kind of the hero message to de develop into a talk and, and Rick, a lot of the business principles I do is because of Rick. You really get to see, it would have never happened if I said, oh, that's, oh, that, that's just a lot of money. I'm just, I'm just gonna save it in the bank so it could just rot. It's, it's the return on investment is, you can't exactly point the finger to, but it's way, it's, it's, it's definitely there in many forms. Hey, what happened the video? Keep watching. Hey, check me out on SoundCloud, it's awesome. Dr. Zano, D-R-Z-A-I-N-O. Make sure you look at it, like it, and share it.